Hello everyone, this video is about how to update a table schema within a reader in FME Workbench. Sometimes new columns may be added or changed in your data and you're going to want to know how to update your readers. I'll be walking through how to do this using a reader on a CSV file as an example. So in my simple workbench, I have read in a CSV file. I then used an attribute manager transformer to remove a column and write it to another CSV file in the same directory. Now let's say our raw data column name suddenly changes. So let's say for some reason I decided to rename longitude as X and latitude as Y. So if I run my first transformer, what do we notice? Well, the column names haven't changed on my reader, and now the data is not coming through as I was expecting it. We see that the longitude and latitude columns are now empty, which is not good. And if I sent this output to a client or other team members after running this workbench, they're probably not going to be too happy. Well, to update the schema on the reader, it's a pretty simple process. So if you click on the reader, it will highlight it in the navigator panel. Then right click and you'll see an option called update reader. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to click on the option to update the reader and feature types. And what you will see is that the feature schema will be re-added and now we have our new column names appearing on the reader in the workbench. This can also be done another way by clicking on the reader tab at the top and select update feature types and select the correct file and then the names of the reader that you want to update in workbench. I personally prefer the first method because it is a quicker way to identify the table schema you want to update. Now if you had the old column names hard-coded anywhere in your workbench, you may see a red wheel telling you that some columns are no longer being found. So you may want to do some cleanup if needed. Now because my writer attribute definition was set to automatic, I actually don't need to change the column name since it's grabbing it dynamically from my attribute manager. Should now be good to rerun my workbench and we should get the new expected column names in the output. So I hope this video was helpful and you now know how to update a table schema in a reader when the data schema is changed at the source. Thanks for watching and see you next time.